All right, so you've got your radio. Now it's time to get it powered. Um, a battery is a great option for uh, remote use, mobile use, uh, blackout power, you know, emergency use like that. Uh, I definitely recommend having some sort of battery backup. BioEno makes these uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. They are, they are widely used throughout the radio world and for good reason. I'm going to give you a quick rundown. They're chemically stable. They don't explode like uh, the old style lithium, lithium batteries. Uh, 2,000 charge cycles. That's like five years. Use it every day for five years. Full charge, full discharge for five years. Um, half the weight of a lead acid battery. That's a typical car battery. Um, built-in circuit module and built-in battery management system. That means that uh, the battery itself is responsible for its charging and discharge and won't, won't overdo itself. So it's, it's built-in protection. You get a full discharge out of these batteries, which is a huge deal. Basically, you're getting twice the battery of anything you compare it to otherwise. Uh, because it doesn't do just a 50% discharge and shut off to protect itself. Uh, no charge memory. That means it is a great option for solar charging. So I'm going to go to the board and we're going to zoom in on, on the information here. All the links are going to be in the description below. All the links are going to be below. That means you'll be covered for your solar charge, your AC wall charger, all that below. So. The three radios I recommended to you guys, the ones that I'm going to keep covering, keep covering, keep covering, the Bearcat 980, that's the single sideband CB radio, low output, we got 10 watts out, this is your output right here, the yellow star, 10 watts out, it'll run on low power 5 watts, so these batteries here are going to correspond to that. Right over here is the hours, uh, hours of use, 20% broadcast, 80% listen is how they do that. So using that radio, the Bearcat full power on the, on the biggest battery, they've got 30 hours. So just keep in mind, the further down the list you go, the more expensive the battery. So uh, keep that in mind. If you're budget minded, maybe you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of... Uh, use time to be in the price range you want but also keep in mind if this is something that you ever plan on uh, throwing in a backpack and having to carry around you know if you live in a place like me pointing outside I would look but you know I'd get a lot better signal out of here if I climbed up on top of the hill to get out I would I would double quadruple my range so if you ever plan on doing something like that keep in mind the smaller battery you get the lighter it'll be obviously so these are lighter and cheaper, these are heavier and more expensive. So, now let's bump up to the big boys, the ICOM 7300 and the Yaesu FT891. These are both 100 watt radios, 100 watt output radios, so full power 100 watts. That's this column right here, full power on all these radios. So if you're wanting to really reach out, get a signal all the way out there, that's where you're gonna wanna be, but again, 75 watts will run, 50 watts will run, 25 watts will run. You can even do these 20 watts. Heck, you on the Yaesu FT891, you can run any of these batteries, especially if you're doing that, uh, the hiking that I was just talking about to get a signal out. If you need to get on top of a mountain to get a signal out, you could run one of these smaller batteries. So. Basically, all these batteries are compatible with all these radios. It's just what you're going to get out of them. So, let's zoom in, take a look at the chart, and you can find what battery you're looking for. So, again, the yellow star here, this column, is your output. This is full output, full power on your ICOM and your Yaesu. So, we'll, we'll go tight in here, and you can look. This column over here is your run time, your broadcast time on, here we go, there we got all the numbers there. So you pick what you need out of that. We'll come up here to the Bearcat. This is for the Bearcat, these top two right here. You got five and 10 watts out. Here's your battery. 
this is your runtime. If you want that 30 hours, you know, you come back here. All these links are below, right down here. So real quick, I'll cover, I'm gonna have the solar charger, the solar panel, and the AC charge controller, all in the description below. So check that out. It's all here, folks. Everything you need to uh, have your radio powered, whether it's mobile, uh, in the vehicle, uh, emergency power at the house, it's all here, everything you need. Just check it out. These batteries by BioEno, Google them. Uh, get on YouTube and search it. There's tons and tons of videos and you'll understand why I'm recommending these batteries. They are the best, so. One more look, all right, we're out.